Welcome to the installation video for the Dell EMC PowerMax management pack for vRealize operations. In this session, we will be reviewing the following. System compatibility. Creating a least privileged user. Installing the management pack on vRealize operations. And configuring the adapter instance in vRealize operations. Let's first begin by reviewing documentation. So we'll need to go to docs.vmware.com and we'll go ahead and we'll search for a true visibility suite documentation. We can go ahead and we can select that top link. And then on the left, we're gonna to wanna to look for the management pack for VMAX or PowerMax. On the left, we'll go ahead and we'll select system requirements. And this will provide us with information around the compatibility for vRealize operations the generation of hardware associated with the pack, the API versions for Unisphere, the target, the default ports, and then the least privileged user, which is a read-only permission on Unisphere. So let's go ahead and, and create a least privileged user. So we're gonna to wanna to log into our Unisphere for PowerMax. And then in the upper right corner, we have a gearbox for the settings tab. We'll go ahead and select that. On the left there, we can see that there is a user and groups tab. We'll select that. And then for this video, we're going to use a local user. Once we select local user, we can go ahead and we can create a local user. We're gonna to wanna to put in a username. We're gonna to wanna to put in a password to associate with that username. And we're gonna to wanna to confirm that password. The management pack does not require a role to be associated with it. Since this is a monitoring solution, I will select monitor, but again, it does not need that. And then it does need to have at the bottom there that read only. So we'll go ahead and make sure that's selected and then we can hit OK. Now we can see that our created user was successful and we can go ahead and we can see that test account there. So let's look at adding the management pack and configuring it. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and log into our vRealize Operations Manager with an admin account or an account associated with admin. We'll go ahead and log in. And then we're gonna to wanna to go to the Administrations tab up in the top there. We we'll wanna have the management pack downloaded prior to. We're gonna go ahead and hit Repository. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom here where it says add upgrade and we'll go ahead and select that. We'll hit browse. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look for that pack file. We'll hit okay. The next two tabs are associated with an upgrade. So we're gonna leave those blank. And we're gonna go ahead and we will hit upload. We'll hit next here. We'll agree to the EULA. We'll hit next. And the installation process will start. The install process can take several minutes as a heads up. We'll go ahead and hit finish. And now we're gonna configure the packs. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select other accounts. We'll go ahead and we'll add add, add account. And then we're gonna to wanna to search for that uh, PowerMax icon. The, uh, the name up here is arbitrary, so we'll go with Dell EMC PowerMax WDC. We're gonna to wanna to put that Unisphere host name information in. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and create a credential. The credential name is arbitrary, so we'll go ahead and put 
Dell EMC PowerMax creds. We'll tie in the uh, associated names to that test account and then add the password associated with that test account that we created. We'll hit OK. Now we can look at the advanced settings. We can see if there's any changes to the default ports uh, or anything else that we feel that we need to change, including like SSL. And then we can go ahead and we can validate the connection. And there we go, we get a test connection successful. We'll select OK. And then we'll hit Add. And now we can see that that's in a warning state. That's normal, a full collection hasn't happened. We can go ahead and refresh. And there we go, we're in an OK status. So that's what we want to see. So if you have any additional questions, please contact your VMware representative.